principalities. They're going to go and they're going to venture in and seek the heart of God. They're going to find their place. They're going to find their tribe. They're going to find their people. We're going to have people that are going to come in and, and, and are not going to know us, but they say, I don't know. I feel like I know these people. I feel like I need to be here. I have somebody right now that's saying, look, i got to go get me another job because i got to be available on Thursdays. <laughs> and they've just come to that conclusion. We've got to go in now in this hour and do what we need to do that we may come into a greater place before the Lord. And so the sacrifices and everything that we do, we will do because we are hooked into him. And greater will be the gain. Greater will be the anointing. Greater will be the unity. Let me tell you something. When I began to see this symphony that the Lord was showing me and the sounds and everything and, and, and the maestro just waving his hand and a wave of his hand, I, I began to see nations. The nations were hovering over this vision. And I could, I could see the different areas and regions being touched because they heard the sound that was coming from the body of Christ. And they were saying, we belong to you. We've longed to be there. I don't know about you, but I've longed to fulfill everything that the Father's called me to fulfill. Amen. And I don't care what it's going to take. You're going to find yourself learning, finding your tribe. It's about team play. If you're not a team player, you're going to learn to be a team player. Manifestation has to do with everything to your ability to connect to others. No man is an island unto himself. Isolation and the days of isolation are over. We have now got to move in that place. GPS, God's placement system, God's prayer systems, God's positioning, succeeding. And we're going to grow and God is going to do so much. The key in this hour is going to be obedience. Will we obey? Will we hear? Will we run? Will we do whatever we need to do? No matter what the cost. Will we sacrifice? Will we say, I'll wait on me? I had to make some serious decisions. And I said, Lord, really? Really? Okay, I'll wait on me. I'll wait on me. I'll do this, this, and this. And maybe while we're doing all that, I'll get me in the process. We have to come to this time, and we have to hear the Lord. He said, dress rehearsal's over. We've come through some things, and we've come through hardness, but rejoice, because that's the same stuff that we come through and made on the other side now, that we can make it even in the dark season, even in the time when trouble does come. We'll be able to. Because we'll know what that's like. Okay, Lord, I know what hell's like. I know when warfare's come against us. It's just like Elaine said. You know, we'll go in and get what we need to get. Get, get that thing adjusted. Do what we got to do. And I'll allow God to go in. And here as she was waiting, the Lord healed the brokenness. Let me tell you something. We've been a broken people. And we look sometimes harshly at the, at the people in the world. And that stuff's got to die. Because it's a broken people who have been healed and put back together that's going to be able to answer and minister to a broken people. We're smack dab in the place of the ministry of reconciliation. It takes love to reconcile. It takes love. I'm excited about this hour. Amen. And I feel just like uh, the old Cla Casablanca movie where he said, play it again, Sam. <laughs> play that song. Play that. I, I feel like I can move now in a different beat, in a different wave, in a different sound. I'm not worried about trying to get back to the old I'm walking in the dead. Yeah. Can't wait. Can't be tethered down. If anything, Say, Lord, where do, you, where do you want me to go from here? And it starts at this first place. I will be what you have called me to be. 
I will do what you have called me to do. And I will answer when you call upon me. That was the humble prayer that a little child said. Speak, Lord, for your servant here. And he was part of the new order. It was a praying mother that got him to that point. That got him to that place. Father, I pray tonight that this prophetic word will go down into the recesses of their hearts. God, there's some things I've just had to live and go through. Lord, I don't prophesy by knowledge or what everybody else is saying. I don't hardly read any other things. I just try to come to know you to the best of, of my ability. Lord, I pray that this will go down into their hearts tonight. And they'll say, Lord, I want to be a part of that sound. Give me my note. I'm in the flute section. Oh, I'm in the drum section. I can hear a beat of sound. Lord, I'm ready to ebb and flow with you. I'm ready to ride the wave, not even understanding what it's going to take to ride the wave. I'm just ready. And if you do that, the Father says, come on. Come on, son. Come on, daughter. Let's cross over. Hey, hey. So, Father, we call crossover today. And, Lord, we're not doing it like the days of old. We're not picking up the pots and pans and moving over to the new place. But, God, we're just picking ourselves up. And we're walking over into the new place with you. Meet us there, Lord. Speak to us in that place. That we may be your people and your sound in the earth in this hour. That people will look and say, what is that going on? And the Father will say, that's my wisdom. It's moving, it's flowing, it's full of life. That's my wisdom in this hour. I can trust them. They've gone through something. And they're ready for the new. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.